Now we're going to redefine sine, cos, and tan, okay? We're not thinking about them in terms of a triangle anymore. We're thinking of them in terms of the unit circle. So I'm going to say this definition, then you can start writing it, but I will write it as well, okay? We define, we define cos theta. I'm doing this in alphabetical order because it tends to be easier to remember. We define cos theta as the x-coordinate and sine theta as the y-coordinate. Let me write that down so you can write it with me. Uh, where's a good spot for it? Here we go. We define cos theta to be the x-coordinate, sine theta to be the y-coordinate of what? The coordinates of what? Well, it's a point on this unit circle, right? Of a point on the unit circle. I'm going to capitalize unit circle just to emphasize to you it's a special kind of object. It has its origin at the center, uh, center at the origin, and has a radius of one. Of a point on the unit circle with an angle theta between. Okay, now I need you to help me actually finish this definition. There's the definition first. Let's just remember what's going on. Cos theta no longer has anything to do with the triangle anymore. It's about an x-coordinate of a point. Same deal with sine. Um, I've named it like this, cos and then sine. These are alphabetical to help you remember that they match with these, which are also alphabetical. Cos and sine, x and y. Okay. Of this point on the unit circle, now where is this angle? Mm -hmm. Where did we draw it? Now on your diagram you still have it. Here. Okay. So the angle is between two different lengths. It starts from here and it goes up. So how would you describe this length down here? What names could you use? Remember, I'm trying to get away from triangles. So I no longer have a triangle in my diagram anymore. Um, but I have all these other objects that I can name. How might you describe this length over here? Okay, I can describe it as the radius, but there's lots of radii in this circle. So is it a particular radius? Which one? Okay, so I can say positive, because look, it's on this side, but um, this, this is also positive, isn't it? So right positive, I, I should probably say positive x, right? Because that's the direction I'm going in. So this angle theta is between the positive x-axis And where does it go up to? What is the blue line I've just drawn? It's another radius, right? But which radius is it? How would you describe it with words? Hmm. It's the radius to where you are right now. It's the radius to this point. That's probably the way that I would say it. So the angle theta is between the positive x-axis and the radius to your point. Okay. Now, you're going to need your calculator for a second here. This idea now sort of breaks the trigonometric um, ratios free of triangles. When you make them trigonometric functions, we don't know what functions are, you just put a value in and you get a value out. Okay? Now, we're going to use our calculator to test some of these things in a second. I want you to help me before we... Oh, and it's just been off too long. I want you to think about a point like, say, that. See that point there? Don't think about trig. Tell me what the coordinates are. Tell me what the coordinates of that point are. One, zero. One, zero. Very good. Because you know it's x value and it's not up or down at all, so the y coordinate is zero. But what this suggests is that that's cos of some theta, and that's sine of some theta. What's theta for this particular spot? I'm going to measure theta between the positive x-axis and the radius to that point. So what's the angle between this positive x-axis and, watch carefully, this radius to that point? What's the angle between them? Zero. Zero. 
So what we're suggesting is that that is cos of zero degrees. And that is sine of zero degrees. Now that doesn't make sense when you're in a triangle, does it? Because you can't have a triangle with zero degrees. But I'm not thinking of triangles anymore. I'm thinking of this guy. Now go to your calculator. Go ahead and punch in cos of zero. And what you should find it faithfully gives you back is one. And then sine of zero, go ahead, put it in sine zero in your calculator, is zero. Okay, are you getting it? You see what's going on? Okay. <laughs> all, right, all right, wait, 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 stay with me. It gets better, it gets better, okay? Regather, regather. Think again. Now have a look at this point up here. What are the, don't worry about trig, just tell me, what are the coordinates of that spot up there? Zero, one. Zero comma, one. What is the angle, what's the theta that goes with that point? What's the angle, what's the angle? It's between the positive x-axis, here it is, and the radius to that point. What's that angle? It's 90 degrees. Now before you reach your calculator, 90 degrees doesn't make sense in a right angle triangle, does it? Because you've already got one 90 degree angle, you can't have another one be 90, because then you've got no more triangle, right? But I'm not in a triangle anymore, I'm on the unit circle. So that suggests that these coordinates are cos of, what angle was it again? 90 degrees, and sine of 90 degrees. And go for your calculator. Cos 90 is going to be zero, and sine 90 is going to be one. Okay, now, you thought that was a bit crazy, okay? It gets better. <laughs> Your brain explains it more. Okay, again, I'm going to rehearse this one more time. Uh, I tell a lie, this is the second last time. Uh, this guy over here, right on the left hand side, tell me the coordinates. Just the coordinates. Negative one. Now, now that you know, <laughs> I've done this twice already, right? After I know the coordinates, now I want to know the angle. Well, here's the positive x-axis, and the radius happens to be the negative x-axis. So what's theta? You go all the way from over here, and 180 degrees sends you to the other side. Now, 180 degrees makes even less sense than any of these things up here. At least you can fit 90 in a triangle. 180 can't ever be an angle in a triangle, right? But the unit circle tells us that cos 180 degrees is negative one, and sine of 180 degrees is zero, okay? Now, you see how this is not, this is not ratios anymore. How can the ratio be a negative number? You can't have negative lengths. Well, on the unit circle, you can. Okay. It's, uh, it's, watch out, we've got a badass over here. It's the unit circle. <laughs> Say that, I, I didn't hear your question. Say it again. Why is it that all angles in a triangle add to 180? Let's give these names. <laughs> any triangle. Any triangle? Yeah. Any triangle you like. Okay. I'm going to make a line up here. That's parallel. Oh. Tell, tell me what this angle is and why. X. This angle is x because? Alternate, Alternate angles. Tell me what this angle is. Because? 180 degrees. Whoa. Please tell me you've seen that before. That's the way to, anyway, okay. So, okay. okay. I don't even need to say anything anymore. What question should I ask? What are the coordinates? And the answer is zero, negative one. What's the next question? What's the, what's the angle? Now look, where am I measuring from? Watch. I'm even going to draw it this time because it's so weird. From the positive x axis, here it is, all the way around to the radius and it's 270, right? 270 is not in any triangle I know about, but 
Co go ahead, put cos 270 into your calculator. Put sine 270 into your calculator. There you go.